Well, let's see why it's Steve Art 39. Well, I'm kind of in shock. Lee Gambon has passed away. Um, he was a um, film industry icon. Um, he wasn't a filmmaker, but he was a critic and historian and um, writer. And I just found out now, uh, apparently he passed two days ago from um, a heart attack. He had heart disease. And I'm just really shocked. He was only 44. And I can't imagine Melbourne without him. Um, he was one of those people who, um, he he wrote for Fangoria and some other magazines. Um, he wrote books on the making of films, particularly horror films and very trashy films. Um, he did a book on the making of Carrie and the making of um, Cujo. He sort of, um, sort of was the face of um, Cinemaniacs, which is a local... Um, cinema group here in Melbourne which did monthly screenings of um, um, genre films and um, he would usually introduce them um, and I think he was gay, I assumed he was for some reason, I'd always see him at events and he worked in Minotaur which is um, Melbourne's sort of main collectible store which I went to every week um, usually on Sunday because he'd work there because he'd give me a discount because he knew me um, you're supposed to get one when you're a membership of, um, the club, which I was, the Cinemaniacs Club, a couple of times, for a couple of years, but I wasn't always a member, but he still gave me a discount anyway. Um, half the books on my bookshelf are there because I got a discount from him from Minotaur. Um, and I just regret not knowing him better. I think we should have been friends, but, um, we had a lot of things in common and a lot of things we liked, and we talked a few times, like I said, I'd see him every week and he was pretty nice, but... When he did his um, introductions, he always seemed to be drunk and he always played it up like he was an alcoholic and he was making fun of it. And I had no idea if he actually was or not. And having people in the family with um, drinking problems, I just was like, uh, I, I don't want to talk to him because I don't know. Is that is that just a persona or something he's um, playing up, um, you know, as part of his, like, image when he's like doing his presentations or, or is it really a problem that he is making fun of and I just that stopped me from getting to know him like I remember it was one specific time where I was sitting in the lobby of one of the cinemas and he saw me and made a beeline for me because he knew I was and and I just looked down like I was on my phone and I registered him saw him I read him registering it and then going Ugh, and then going the other way into the, um, the hall where they had all the tickets and everything set up and um and I always felt bad about that because he, he was, you know, making effort. And I just was like, oh, I don't know if he's, if, if that's just him sort of having a persona or if that's an actual issue. And I just, I have too much trauma around people with drinking problems that I just couldn't deal with it. So I feel really bad about that. I have no idea if he even did. But um, yeah, I wish I'd gotten to know him better, I think. We had a lot of things in common. I think we would have gotten along, um, like, better. And it was really nice when um, D. Wallace was here um, for a bunch of talks and that. Um, I think he, 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 like, hosted her and that. And um, so because of him, I got to sort of chat to her a bit and that, and she was really nice. And um, he had this adorable little dog that he would take out. And I remember one time being at the Aster and the dog was there. And I'm like, where's that cat? There used to be a cat that lived at the Aster. And I thought, that dog's going to chase the cat. And that... <laughs> Um, I just can't believe he's gone. I mean, I can't imagine Minotaur without him. I can't imagine Cinemaniacs without him. I can't imagine, I can't imagine Melbourne without him. He's just one of those people that he was, you know, one of the faces of Melbourne. At least in my Melbourne. Um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. I just, um, I had to pay a little tribute to him. I couldn't not, um... I'm just a bit shocked. Um, he was only 44. Um, apparently it was sudden. I mean, that's how heart attacks are. I think I, I have heart problems as well. You just you just live with it and um, you just hope one day that, you know, it doesn't. And yeah, it's just not like it just you don't have any warning. Um, yeah. I'm going to go. R.I.P. Lee Gammon.